March 19th, 2024. We're going old school here with some Quaker oatmeal. Five minute oats, not one minute oats. This is the whole grain stuff right here. The bird song is bountiful on March 19th, 2024. I went to Half Price Books today. I got a lot of 11, I think, CDs for 95 cents a piece. That was a dollar minus my discount plus tax. So let's give them a look. All right, everybody, we got a stack of uh, about 10 or 11 CDs and uh, one DVD. Interesting and varied pile of stuff from Half Price today. This is an album called Born to Be by Melanie, the singer from the 70s that you might remember from the song Brand New Key. She had a great, sweet, high voice. This is from the early 70s. I think it's from 1974, so it was right after she had that hit. C5 Records. Don't know if you can see that. Kind of an unusual label. Really pretty, actually. But uh, I have to listen to that. I haven't listened to it yet. We've got a Mozart Late String Quartets disc here on the CRD label with the Chilingurian Quartet. CRD stuff is not something you run across too often. So these were all a dollar, remember, uh, 95 cents with a discount. So I'd only spent $10 on this lot. So that's interesting. We got Edvard Grieg's Violin Sonatas with uh, Dmitry Sitkovetsky and Bela Davidovich. Uh, this is on the Orfeo label. Uh, that's a nice find for a dollar. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Davidovich was the mother of Sitkovetsky. He's a violinist. She's a pianist. There's the back. Uh, th this is a nice thing to find. Grieg violin sonatas. You don't see these every day. That's not a common item to find, especially at that price. Uh, here's a Nigel Kennedy disc. I'm not sure what the label is. Uh, it says open disc. Okay, I'll open it. Well, it's just a digipack. But it's uh, violin concertos by Polish composers. And it's Nigel Kennedy, and you really can't see Nigel Kennedy very well in this art, but we know what he looks like, and this should be interesting. I don't know who are the composers. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read them. Well, one of them is Chopin. We know him. So, Honegger, uh, Symphony Number no. 2, with uh, Herbert von Karajan on Deutsche Grammophon. I already have this. I'll probably end up selling this. It also has Symphony Number no. 3 on it. That's a nice release. It's the 20th Century Classics series on DG. Nice find for a buck, for sure. Uh, Seals and Crofts, greatest hits. These guys were kind of a little harmony duo. They were really big around 1973, 74, and 75. You saw them everywhere on TV, and then they were on the radio constantly. They had a song that I think still gets played a lot called Diamond Girl. Uh, I never actually owned this on CD. This is their greatest hits. I owned it on LP a long time ago. That LP is long gone. So it's nice to have for a buck. It's kind of that MOR AM radio music, you know, of the 70s like uh, Bread and uh, Doobie Brothers. You know, it's not, it's rock your grandma can like, more or less. Okay, next in the pile we've got uh, King Missile. This is kind of a funny indie band from the early 90s, late 80s. They have an association with a guy named Stephen Tunney who calls himself Dog Bowl, who made an amazing album called Cyclops Nuclear Submarine Captain, which I should have got out to show you, but that's a great masterwork of a, a rock pop record. He helped form this band, and this band is very similar to him. They're a little more mainstream. They're experimental. But they're a little more accessible. they kind of got that jangly 80s, early 90s sound, rock sound, and very weird lyrics. One of the songs on here, let me get my glasses. One of the titles of the song here gives you some idea of how wacky some of their stuff could be. One of the songs is called, The Boy Who Ate Lasagna and Could Jump Over a Church. And that's literally what the song is about. So, I unfortunately already owned that record, or that album. So I'll probably lot it up with another King Missile CD that I was selling on eBay and give it a nice double lot thing there. Uh, this is Everlasting with Natalie Cole on Atlantic. I was shocked to learn I had no Natalie Cole at all in my collection. I had heard a uh, recording that she did of Lush Life recently and it was really nice. 
and I uh, thought, well, I don't have that. And I looked in my collection. I have no Natalie Cole. And I said, well, that's not right. I should have some. So I got this. This was a buck. Lush Life is not on this, by the way. It's on a different album. If I find that, I'll buy it. Close to the Edge, Progressive Rock by Yes. I think this is 1973. Uh, I've never owned this. I, of course, have Fragile. Uh, that's the one everybody has, I guess. But I never had this one. This one is pretty much thought of in the same high regard. I'm not a big prog rock guy. I'm kind of glad when punk rock like uh, brought rock and roll back to being rock and roll again. These guys got a little too noodly, but I, you know, it's nice. Uh, I've heard it before, but uh, I've never had it, so I'm glad to have it now. This is Hano Eller, uh, the Talon Chamber Orchestra doing some works for ECM the ECM New Series. These actually sell pretty well on eBay. I don't keep a lot of ECM New stuff because it's minimalist music. I don't listen to it very much, if ever. And uh, this is a rabbit hole. Like, the ECM New Series is so big and there's so many releases that, you know, I don't even want to go down that path. I have a few things on this label. It's kind of like classical jazz fusion, minimalist, classical, modern, avant-garde-ish, but not like unlistenably so. Uh, this might be the prize. Uh, Joseph Haydn, six sonatas for violin and cello on Hungariton. Uh, this is with the duo Ongarace, which I guess Hungarian duo. You don't come across Hungariton CDs very often. It's not common to find these, and then to find them for a dollar is even less common. So, there it is. That probably is the find of the day right there. This is also a good find. A movie from 1997 called Bent. It takes place in a concentration camp. I believe there's a uh, gay subtext, or more than a gay subtext in this. I've seen parts of this in the past, but I don't remember much about it, but this movie's rare to come across. You don't come across this movie very often. People are getting 10 to $20 for this movie on eBay. I don't have it in my collection. I never have had it. I might have had it on VHS back in the day. It's NC-17, so it's pretty strong stuff. I, when I saw this, I knew that this was not a common thing to find, and I looked it up and I was correct. So I got it for 95 cents probably going to keep it because it's not in my collection and uh, I'd rather have it than sell it. I may sell it at some point. So there you go.